a little bit of H2O to start off with, right? Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. KJ Andio, the food experience is back. And today's agenda, we got some super spicy cupcakes. Well, actually, I'm going to make three different levels of cupcakes for you guys. But first, I want to say good afternoon. I uh, got Bradley live streams. What's up? Shatner Barrett. What's up? How you doing? Uh, Charlie, what's going on? Mikael, what's going on? James, how you doing? I'm going to make some cupcakes today. I've never baked a thing in my life. Well, except for maybe pizza. I've made my own pizza dough before back in the day, but I've never baked any like cupcakes or cakes or anything like that. And I'm going to do it in the air fryer, but I'm going to do it on bake mode, not air fryer mode. That would probably roast the heck out of these things. So, uh, Dan B, what's going on? So I thought I would start the very first time just by doing it with a mix from the store, okay? Maybe as things progress, I'll be able to do it on my own from scratch, you know? But, um, yeah, so I picked up this Pillsbury strawberry cake mix, moist. It says moist, supreme, makes 24 cupcakes. Not these size cupcakes, I'm sure. These are going to be bigger cupcakes. But here's what I'm working with, okay? Uh it's a nice, oh, this isn't the new one. This is my original one. It turns out that the one I ordered, it still hasn't even shipped yet. It's like the UPS shipping label was created and it hasn't shipped. And I've emailed them twice and they don't reply. And I thought I'd get it from the manufacturer instead of Amazon or Target or Walmart. They all have the same oven, same price. But I figure I get it through the manufacturer so it has less hands to go through. Boy, would I, I made a big mistake. Because, uh, yeah, they haven't shipped it yet. Otherwise, I'd probably have it here by now. But that's okay. This old guy, the Cuisinart TOA60, I've had it for about three years, and it's still going strong. Every now and then it has heating issues, but um, just to uh, circumvent any possible problems, I've been letting it heat up for about a half hour now at 350 degrees, and we're going to see what happens. Is that bioengineered? I'll tell you one thing is, one thing is bioengineered, I got the Pillsbury Strawberry Artificially Flavored Frosting. This one says contains a bioengineered food ingredient. No BS. I don't know if my camera is going to focus. Probably not. But anyhow, it really does say that. And I was like, what the heck does that mean? Bioengineered, like in a laboratory? Oh, man, that's going to be fun, right? Uh, it's moist. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Shatner says, are you sure you're not a radio personality? <laughs> no doubt, right? I wish I was, man. I wish I was because I probably have a lot better equipment and I probably have a lot more money. Um, that's what I'm saying. Thanks, guys. Really, thank you so much. Mr. Drip Tip, happy Sunday. At least they are honest, no doubt. In this world, got to give it to Pillsbury for being honest. So, I don't even have a mixer, okay? I'm going to confess right now. I don't have a mixer, an electric mixer. But I was speaking to one of my good friends, Donna, and she said, silly, you don't need a mixer. Just use a whisk and whisk it up really good. So that's what I'm going to do. I indeed do have a whisk, fortunately. And I went ahead and bought this little muffin pan right here. So the cupcakes are going to be that big. And like I said, I'm going to make three different versions, okay? I'm going to do the regular mix and everything the way it calls out for and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put uh, one of the cupcake batter things inside of the pan. Then the second one, I'm going to add a little bit of spice. And the third one, I'm going to load it up with some spice. And for the spice today, I'm going to give a big shout out to Mr. James Land. Wow, I got flour all over here. Um, for sending me this Carolina Reaper powder. This stuff is legit heat right here. And um, it doesn't... I mean, it has some smell. You could smell the Reaper, but I think mixed in with the strawberry, it's not going to be too noticeable, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to probably use like, um, I don't know, a tablespoon in the mix of the second one and maybe add two tablespoons in the mix of the third one to make it super spicy, right? So uh, let's see here. What have we got in the comments? AKA a fork, right? Struggle with 5,000, no doubt. Dumpster fire. No, no, no dumpster fire. But I am going to use this uh, Reaper powder right here. And thanks again, James, for having sent it my way. Um, I'm already I'm down to here on the bottle right now, so I have quite a bit more left. 
And um, looking at the box, what you need is a cup of water, a half a cup of oil, uh, oil, oil, and three eggs. Um, yeah, set up into 350 coat bottom of, bottom of pan with no stick cooking spray or shortening and a flour dusting. Well, I do have some cooking spray and I definitely have some flour right here. So I have everything that's needed. You need three eggs. Let me grab them. Okay. All right. Got a short pack of eggs from the store yesterday. Uh, Reaper cupcakes. Yum. No doubt, right? Um, I think Reaper and strawberries probably goes very well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They have different flavors, and I'm looking at all the flavors. I'm like, you know what? Reaper and strawberry are probably the closest fit to match, to go together, you know? Uh, y'all don't forget to hit, uh, thanks Charlie. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey Tomer half cup Earl. <laughs> no doubt. You know where I got that from is, um, I don't know if anyone's ever watched the show in practical jokers, but, um, I heard them call it that once and it kind of stuck in my head with me ever since I love watching that show. So, and I'm kind of an impractical joker myself. So let's get this started without further ado, right? We're all like messing around and everything. I also got toothpicks, which are necessary to check how done the cupcakes are. I think I'm pretty much covered. And for my mixing bowl, I don't have a regular mixing bowl, so I'm going to use this thing. Should be all right. Wow, that Reaper. I almost want to sneeze from smelling that. You don't, it's like so close. <clears throat> Gosh, excuse me. Now I got to go rinse and wash up again. Dang. I mean, I'm only cooking for myself, so it really doesn't matter to be uh, germ-free or use gloves or anything, because um, I'm party of one. That's it, you know? Uh, COVID-19. No, nah, no COVID here, man. I think I'm, I think my body's, like, resistant to that stuff for some reason, because I've been in every situation where I should have it by now, and being that I'm a high-risk person, uh, surviving a heart attack patient, I have five stents in me, got high blood pressure. I'm a little overweight, not too much, but a little bit. You'd think I'd be a prime candidate. I think I'm pretty resistant to it, you know? Uh, all the capsaicin, yes, sir. Toothpick never lies. That's right. So, yeah, we're going to get this going. And let's see. So it says first set the oven. I've already done that. Beet cake mix, water, oil, and eggs in a large bowl. Mix until moistened. Moistened. Be with mixer on medium speed. Well, I don't have a mixer, so I'm just going to use my hand and do it medium, right? All right, so let's get this going, right? So with the eggs, right? Um, I'm going to do what I normally do when I make scrambled eggs because it's going to save on the beating time or the mixing time, right? So let's go ahead and get that done first. I think you've killed COVID with all that spicy stuff. You could be right. Could be right. That and the vaping because um, vaping actually gets rid of... Um, a lot of things that could infect your lungs and respiratory system. It's uh, the PG, the propylene glycol in the vapey liquid that uh, helps fight against that stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm covered. All right. Got three eggs in there. Let me put these back in the fridge. Okay. Let's go ahead and where's my lid? Oh, there it is. This is the way I do my scrambled eggs, folks. It's no fuss. It's so super easy, and it really blends the eggs well. So I put them all inside of this container, and did I screw that on wrong? If it's misthreaded, I'm totally going to be covered in uh, eggs in a minute. Okay, there we go. And here we go. We'll start with scrambling the eggs, get them all nice and beaded. I'll beat you eggs. Going to beat you. All right. Don't have to worry about it too much, but there you go. Nice egg mixture right there. I'm gonna grab my bowl. Vaping does save lives, absolutely. Earl is like a Mason Dixon thing, I believe. It could be right. I get my first pow tomorrow. Can't wait to have some noodle nudes. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. Of course they say moist. What's going on, Bob Shorky? How you doing? So, okay, I mean, I guess I'm going to use all of this, even though I'm not going to make all the different cupcakes right now. I'm just going to make three of them for you guys. But I, I might as well add 
you know, the full mixture and everything so the instructions don't vary, you know? Oh, man, it always sucks for these type of packages. I could see you opening it all going poof all over the place. That would be me. Well, that smells very strawberry-like, I'll tell you that. Boy, I could totally smell the strawberry. So let's go ahead and uh, put that in. I don't need the box anymore. Let's just do this. All right, there we go. I guess I should show you what I'm doing. I know, I don't have any scissors near me, and I got knives right behind me, but that's the bioengineering, no doubt. This is going to be bad. Yeah, it could go wrong. It could go very wrong. But this is just a trial run. I want to see if um, my air fryer is going to do it okay. Um, it came with its own cooking booklet, and it definitely mentioned how to make brownies and different other things. So I think I'm going to be all right. So, okay, we're going to add the eggs. There we go. And I'll go down while we're doing the mixing. Let me put this in the sink. And we need a cup of water. Or as my uh, buddy Tony says in uh, Delaware, water. <laughs> okay, a cup, right? Here we go. Let's measure out a cup of water. There we go. One cup going in. And a half a cup of oil. oil. <laughs> can't help it. I just can't help it. Have faith Andy can do it. Right on. Thank you so much, Shatner. I appreciate uh, the faith there. And I got some vegetable oil right here. I was like thinking, it doesn't say what kind of oil. I, I normally use olive oil for all my cooking, but I'm pretty sure they want you to use vegetable oil. But they don't really call it out. Um, just says oil. I mean, is it like oil from the car? Will that work also? <laughs> Probably not. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up. I am a silly character in case you haven't noticed. And we want a half a cup, right? Okay. Uh, it's a little much. Hold on. Dump some of that out. All right. Should be good. Add in the oil. <laughs> Almost did it again. Almost did it again. Okay. And we're going to add some pickle juice. No, we're not. We're not going to add some pickle juice. How about some mayo? No, nah, I don't think we should do that either, right? All right. Vag oil is the way to go. I don't have any of that, man. I don't even have a girlfriend. Not right now, I don't. Sure wish I did, though. Okay, so let's see. Mix cake mix, water. Oil, eggs, and a large boil mix until moistened. So I guess that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and whisk it up. I will take you guys down with me while I do this so it doesn't seem like totally boring and non-cooking like, right? There we go. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stir this up. I think it's just important you get everything all blended in. Yeah, it's looking like cake batter in the center there. Just got to keep going at it, right? Till there are no more uh, dry particles. Get some off the edges here. All right. And I think you just want to get it so it's not lumpy looking, right? Am I right? Anyone that's uh, baked anything, let me know. But I think it's working. I really do. Uh, Menaz strawberry, right? Strawberry cupcakes three ways. Whisk it, whisk it real good. I'm trying, man. Want to get all the lumpy bumpies out of it, right? Air bubbles, all kinds of stuff. This gets tiring after a while. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to invest in a mixer because um, I'm left-handed and my right hand, wow. Can't really do it as fast, but um, I should invest in a mixer because that would definitely be a lot more efficient. But as long as this works, hey, who the heck cares, right? All right. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Get those cupcakes mixing. All right. <laughs> Rawhide. 
<laughs> oh, it's definitely getting thicker now. I can feel. But you guys tell me. I mean, what does the instruction say? How much mixing? Medium speed for two minutes. That's what it says. Just mixing the lumps get out and even consistency. Right on. That's what I was figuring. But yeah, it's looking nice and smooth. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now. Definitely looking pretty smooth, right? Don't let me forget to put the Reaper powder in. No, I don't think I'll have a problem with that. Boy, that smells good, though, and I love strawberries. Strawberries are actually one of my favorite fruits, and I grew up on a street called Strawberry Drive. Um, it had natural strawberries that grew in the wilderness there, where my dad always told me, don't eat those strawberries unless you want a trip to the hospital. Poisonous strawberries, you know? But, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Definitely nice and smooth. I think we're good there. Put that in the sink. Uh, Reapers, right? I know, right? Rawhide. Um, smooth and moist. Yeah, that's good enough. Thank you, guys. Let's go back up. Hey, I'm back. All right, so I think we're good. Now the question is how to transfer this into this without making a big, nasty mess. Um Boy, I don't really have any spoon, big spoons, but okay. I guess I could just spoon it with a kind of a large spoon. I guess that'll work, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do uh, cupcake number one. Oh wait, hold on. We got a grease and uh, power, <laughs> flour the thing. I almost forgot. When you're doing these things live, it is so easy to forget steps. You don't even know. Uh, Good luck. I always make a mess and I use a ladle. Okay, fair enough. I wish I had a ladle. I think a ladle would be perfect for this. Oh, hold on. All right. So let's do it. This is a nice heavy duty pan too. This is not like cheap aluminum. Like maybe it's aluminum, but it's really heavy duty feeling. And not only that, check this out. I like this is the only one they had in the store. Okay, I got it at a grocery store. It will not fit in this way, but it will fit in this way. So being that that's the case, I'm going to do the three cupcakes and I'm going to put them all the way back versus to the front of the oven, right? I think that sounds appropriate. Stir that up just a little bit more. Doesn't really look lumpy. I think we're okay. Smells really good. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to try to get this as least messy as possible. All right. Oh my God, I did it. See, I was just talking to you guys. Hold on. <laughs> what a fool. Okay. I just won't use that spot. What a total fool, I tell you. <laughs> I don't even know if I have my brain screwed on sometimes, seriously. <laughs> Good old crazy Andy here, huh? All right. Grease and flour. Yes, sir. Right on. I would stagger them, fill the other hole with water about halfway. Now nah, I think I'm all right. I, I get what you're saying, though, to occupy the space. But all right. Um, so cooking spray, right? Shake this up. And hold on. I want to get all the water out of there. I wish Tony would be watching. He's a funny guy. I like him. All right. So I'm not sure how much spray, but. All right. I think we're good. Maybe it'll be a little oily. Who knows? It's probably more about the spice at this point for me, though. And then it says a little bit of flour. So let me get another spoon. And I'm sure you don't want a lot of flour, probably just a little bit, just to kind of coat it, right? Right. 
Baking 101. <laughs> Something Andy needs, right? Okay. And I'm sure the flour is just to help it not stick, I'm imagining. And the oil. Earl. <laughs> So I'm going to do all this, and then when I'm done, just to make sure there's no extra flour in there, I'm going to go ahead and turn it upside down. There we go. A little bit came out. I think that looks all right, doesn't it? I hope so. It's a one-time dealio, right? Better heat distribution. Oh, I see. Uh, Custom Closet Grow, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, right on, man. Okay, one final stir. I mean, this smells good. It smells really good. I really don't want to make a mess. So, there we go. There's one. Okay, need a little more. Need a lot more, actually. And I imagine I want to fill these up near the top. Probably not over the top. Probably not all, even all the way to the top. I'm sure they're going to rise when they're cooking, right? I mean, like I said, this is my first time baking anything in my life. So I will be so surprised if this comes out really good. Um, hold on. Let me see the comments here. I uh, missed the last live stream. Also at Family Over for Dinner, but caught the reply, the deck was giving you a hell of a time. Oh, man. It was terrible, man. It was terrible. I think that's going to turn out good. My stomach's already growling. Got the munchies. No doubt. All right. So I still don't know whether how far to fill these up. Does that look good? Hold on. Like right like that, or should I fill it a little more? Any comments are appreciated at this point, because like I said, it's my first time ever baking. Well, at least this kind of baking. Okay, that's about it. Like, I don't want to go all the way to the top. They say that <laughs> they get, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Some people say they got a muffin top. I think that's what they mean when it comes up and over. <laughs> I'm a silly guy. Okay, so there's uh, cupcake number one. Maybe I'll make um, two of them because I can see how much mix I have. Hold on. I think I'll make uh, two of them. Regular. How about that? A little bit. Oh, now I can't uh, empty the extra flour. That's okay. More flour to you. Okay. They get big. That's good. Okay, cool. Wouldn't put any more in there. Okay, cool. It might rise too high, all right? No doubt. Let's rise to it. Gotta rise to it. It's a song by Kiss. Never mind. But uh, all right. This is fun. This is definitely fun. Oh, I kind of missed. That's why I'm trying to do it over the bowl. That should do it, I'm thinking. Because I got to be careful about this. Um, when I add the Reaper powder... I got to make sure I'm not going to make any more regular ones because otherwise um, they're all going to have Reaper, right? Okay. So maybe I won't fill this one up quite as high. That's what I'm working with right now. Now, time to add some heat. Uh, then you have snacks for a couple days. Make two of each. Yeah, no, it's cool. I'm just going to do four all together. It's great since I missed yesterday's stream it's good to join this one thank you thank you very much so yeah no what i'm going to probably do is um stick the remaining batter in the fridge and if it comes out good then after the show is over i'll go ahead and make some more hot reaper cakes and then maybe if they turn out hot enough i'll go into the cap crew which um some of you guys are in and i'll um burn with you you know okay oh wow okay uh, in the sink. Hold on. Well, that's not going to work out. Well, let me dry this off because I want to put a tablespoon of Reaper powder in there, I'm thinking. 
And I got my tablespoon right here. Burn some strawberry reaper cuppers. Yes, sir. Or cuppies, yeah. Reaper cakes. Wish I was there. Man, no doubt, man. I wish you were here too, James. Okay, that seems all dry enough. I don't know if a tablespoon's enough. I mean, I don't want the first one to be super spicy. I want the second one to be super spicy. So... All right, there's a tablespoon of reaper powder, pretty much. Let's dump that in there. And I actually might do a good deal right there, to be honest. It might actually be super spicy, but uh, let me go ahead and stir that in. I wonder if anyone's done this before, uh, made super spicy cupcakes. I can't be the first. I couldn't imagine myself being the first. And even if the Reaper does change a little bit of the flavor, I'm going to put some regular strawberry frosting on top. So um, I think that'll help balance it out a little bit, you know? Yeah, I could smell the Reaper in there now. Maybe I should use a half a tablespoon, but eh, that's all right. This is just a trial run, right? It's an expose. Okay, I got to remember where I put these. The color is a little bit different now. So, okay, the first one furthest back will be the <laughs> mild one, as we call it. And you'll see the color difference when I show you. Okay. Is any of this haphazard? I mean, am I the only one that thinks that this is a little bit haphazard? <laughs> I'm going to have to wipe this tray down a little bit before I throw it in the oven. But uh, let me show you the difference here. I should easily be able to spot out which is which. See the difference? This one here is a Reaper, and those two are regular. Yeah, let me wipe this off a little bit. Got a little bit of spill off on some of these. There we go. Let's see. Peanut butter. Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's what baking is like sometimes. Right on. Yeah, I know, right? Serious color change. But the last one, I want to make super spicy for all my friends in the cap crew. So, there's another tablespoon almost. A little bit shy of a tablespoon of Reaper powder. And uh, that ought to do her, right? And I can smell it. It almost makes me want to sneeze again. You don't even know. These are going to be pretty spicy, I think. And it, it seems to be getting more orange with uh, each little bit more uh, Reaper powder I'm putting in. Went from a nice pink to a mild orange to um, a pretty good orange, as you could say. And a shot of tincture. <laughs> I wish I had the right kind of tincture. Um, I was almost thinking about using Scott Strobel's uh, caramel tincture, but I don't know. I think I think it's really throw it off too much. Besides, I have a oh, got that Reaper powder. <laughs> that Reaper powder is no joke. Um, but Scott, check this out. Hear me out for a second. Um, I'm going to try something next week, okay? Because this is like kind of tis the season and making holiday desserts. I wonder if anyone, now I don't know if anyone's made super spicy cupcakes, but I also never heard of anyone making super spicy s'mores before. How about a good s'more? We all love s'mores, don't we? So with that said, Scott's Caramel Tincture I'm going to inject into some marshmallows and I'm going to get some super spicy chocolate and of course graham crackers and try to make some spicy s'mores. How's about that? Huh? Got to learn how to cook spicy, right? All right, let's go ahead and load it up and get this show on the road. Almost there. All 
Okay, a little bit more. See if you can see the difference. So we got the strawberry ones, then we got a little bit of Reaper, and then we got more Reaper. I think that'll do it. I know you're not supposed to eat raw batter. It even tells you on the package here. Warning, do not eat raw batter. Please cook fully before enjoying. But a part of me wants to take my finger and stick it out in there and see how spicy it is. I'm sure a little fingerful uh, couldn't hurt. Let's see. Dumpster fire makes me sneeze every time I use it. <laughs> Some more s'mores, right? S'more what? <laughs> oh, yeah, we have talked about that already. Yes, sir, we sure have. This is the first time sharing it with anyone else. No, actually, I mentioned it to Tony to see what his thoughts were. And um, he wasn't sure about what kind of chocolate. But I think James led me on to something really good. So, all right. So now we're going to put it in the oven. Turn the timer on again. Still heated up. Uh, bake at 350. Follow bake times below when toothpick is inserted. Okay, so it doesn't really mention for making muffins. But what it does say, let's see, pan, two 8-inch rounds, two 9-inch rounds, bunt pan, and then 24 cupcakes. So for 24 cupcakes, it says 19 to 23 minutes. I'm just going to have to do this by uh, ear, you know, or I don't know. I think probably 25 minutes is what I'm guessing. I'm looking at the cooking times for anything else. Um, eight inch rounds are 34 to 38 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. You know, I'm not sure. We're just going to try it. And uh, I'll go ahead and set my kitchen timer. Let's go ahead and put her in. There we go. And I'll set the kitchen timer for 20 minutes. There we go. Away she goes. Uh, finger full should be fine, no problem. Okay. It's okay to eat raw because it's bioengineered. No, this stuff isn't bioengineered. It doesn't say it is, but the frosting is. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Let's see. That sounds legit. I should make spice. You should, Shatner. Totally, dude. It's time to bake it. Yes, sir. I think s'mores will be great. Fingerful should be fine. No problem. All right. I'll try a little finger. I don't even know a fingerful. I'll just do a dab. How, how about we all do a dab? Okay. So when it first hit my tongue, very strawberry. And then I can start tasting the Reaper's. As far as the heat level, Reapers take a second to build. So I'm definitely tasting it. Um, I'm definitely feeling it a little bit. I don't think they're going to be as spicy as I may have hoped. Um, maybe putting some like, um, maybe some like, uh, I don't know, some of that 16 mil tincture in there. That would probably help. And there it goes. No, it's going. I mean, I don't really have much sweat, but it's going. I'm definitely feeling it. But still very strawberry-like, and that's what I was hoping for. I didn't want the Reapers to overpower the strawberry, you know? I mean, I still want them to taste like strawberry cupcakes after all. But yeah, I got a little bit of a mouth burn going, I'm not going to lie. And maybe when baking, um, it'll even be spicier, because sometimes when you um, bake with pepper ingredients, they actually get spicier when baked. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge for right now, if there's any room. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, I'm feeling it on my tongue. I'm definitely feeling it a little bit. Let's see. I would go 15 minutes and check with toothpick. Fair enough, Bob. Thank you. I'll check the timer in 15 minutes. I have two flavored tinctures that I should tr I could try. You should, Shatner, you should definitely do it. Uh, what do you have cooking? Crazy Cook, what's going on? I am making some strawberry cupcakes with an attitude. I got two regular strawberry cupcakes in there. And then the third cupcake, I did a tablespoon of this Reaper powder into the mix. And the fourth cupcake, two tablespoons of Reaper powder. So I want to see if I can bring on the heat, but without using too much where you taste the Reaper. And I just tasted the mix right now. 
and it's got a good amount of heat to it. Like I totally feel it. Yeah, I'm sweating a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sweating a little bit. So I'm going for spicy strawberry cupcakes, but I want to retain the strawberryness. Let me wash up again. Got that Reaper powder though, man. That makes me sneeze like crazy. You don't even know. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. 15 minutes saw that. Those oils are going to release more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right, Shatner. Pretty sure. I think a light burn for dessert would be good. Yeah, absolutely. I have Cherry Hill Garden and the Pumpkin Spice bow tie. Right on. I want to try um, from Hell Garden. I saw Johnny Scoville review this. Um, what was it called? Orange uh, Starburst, I think it was. And I believe that's from Hell Garden also. I really want to try that one. I'm looking for a good orange tincture, you know? I think that would be uh, sweet. So, yeah, we got 13 people on. Good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you're located. Uh, cupcakes are going. It's been about four minutes right now. I'm going to keep my eye on the timer. When it has uh, five minutes left, it will be 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a toothpick in them and uh, see how well done they are. From what I understand, when you put a toothpick in and pull out, don't ever pull out. What? <laughs> when you pull the toothpick out, um, it shouldn't have any uh, batter on it. It should be dry, you know. And I went ahead and put the... Um, the metal rack in the oven in the number one position, the lower position, but with it facing up because uh, that's what it shows in the book here. I'll show you. Hell Garden does great work. Okay, cool. Sweet and spicy. So good together, right? Especially strawberry. Strawberry is a good flavor to use. That's going to mask a lot of that reaper and reaper and strawberry actually go very well together. So I was looking at the oven yeah, I do save the instructions. So it shows rack position one, and it shows it with the tray it going up instead of going dipping down. And hopefully that's right, because it doesn't really spe specify, but you could kind of see it there. See that? Position one. So that's what I'm using right now. I don't think it mentions it. Um, what was it? Page 33. Let's see. It comes with a recipe book, which I like. Although I haven't really used it for much anything, just as a kind of guide. Uh, page 33. Okay, page 33 has peanut butter swirl brownies. Make 16 brownies. And I imagine it's probably similar cook time. And it says 350 degrees for uh, 25 minutes. So, or 20 minutes, I'm sorry. But it says here, hold on. Yeah, fit the oven with rack in position one, lightly coat nine inch square baking pan. Da, 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 da. Um, it doesn't really say which way to put the tray. So hopefully I did it right. But this is what I am using the Cuisinart TOA 60 until my new one arrives. If they ever ship the dang thing, be nice if they do. Um, you'll be fine. Right on, Shatner. Uh, I think I got all the comments. Oh, wait, James says, uh, I have pina colada from Hell Garden, the pumpkin spice Shatner, that Hell Garden, no joke. Yeah, from what I understand, you're right. And uh, the one that James sent me, um, he got it at the old Agnes store. Let me get that real quick. Don't know if anyone has tried this tincture before. It's uh, called Death by Chocolate by uh, Jay's Small Batch. And I saw... Um, I think I saw Brian Ames review this, this stuff right here. And um, it's called Death by Chocolate, not because it tastes like chocolate. It's because it has the chocolate peppers in there. Ingredients, turbinado, sugar, whatever the heck that is. Um, dried chocolate variety peppers. Sorry, it's hard for me to see. The print's so small. Uh, balsamic vinegar. Grain alcohol and allspice. That's what's in this. Uh, that bottle looks wild. I know, right? This is like a such a well-designed bottle. I really like that. One drop tincture. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and try it while I'm waiting, right? All right. That's one of those long droppers, you know? Very sweet. When it hits your mouth, so super sweet. As it's melting into my tongue, the peppers um, presence is coming on more. Got a bunch of chocolate peppers, and um, the heat rating is four out of five, as it shows on the back right here. But after that uh, hurt berry that I ate last night, wow, that thing was crazy hot. You don't even know. Um, Apocalypse style. <laughs> I have to go to work. See you later. And right on crazy cook. Take it easy, man. Have a good work shift. So after it's all done, uh, hold on, let me check time. Okay. So it's gone about nine minutes after it's all done. It says cool 10 to 15 minutes before removing from pan, cool cake completely before frosting. If you're doing cake, cupcake, same thing store loosely covered. Yeah, so that tincture is pretty mild. I mean, compared to the stuff that we trade in the cap crew, this stuff is mild by comparison. Um, I'm definitely feeling it. It's a little bit of a tongue burn. Uh, I can feel sweat on the top. I'm not going to do it again. I got to wash up all over again. But it's it's a really delightful tincture. Absolutely. And you can get it by going to old Agnes with two S's store.com. And thanks again, um, James, for getting me that man I, i'm really so happy man you don't even know really appreciate you as a friend as a brother you know and uh, like i said i got something coming your way i ordered you a christmas gift hopefully you like it turbinara sugar is raw sugar that has not been pleased thank you bob you're always a good help man i dig you bob right on thank you i missed the hurt berry man that thing was gnarled so i'll show you what they look like So uh, Denny was kind enough to send me these. He sent me some Prima Tollies and also uh, two Hurt Berries. So I have one Hurt Berry left. And it hurt very, very much. I'm going to tell you right now. Look at this thing. Look at that. Is that crazy? Is that wild? And then these Prima Tollies. They're supposed to be pretty hot too. Look at the tail on that thing, huh? Look at that. Pretty wild looking peppers. So one of these Prima Tollies, um, and probably there's the other half of the Hurtberry. Um, I'm going to take to work with me um, or maybe do it after work. But Denny and I want to go live in the crew and get some McRibs and chop a bunch of these up and put them on the McRib. See how that is. So, uh, yeah, big thanks and shout out to Denny. Let's see what time we got. Uh, about nine minutes remaining. So in about four, three, three, four. I'm terrible at math. When it shows five minutes remaining, I'm going to pull it out and look. Oh, geez. Yeah, they rose. They rose big time. They're like that much over the top. But that's okay. That's why they call them a muffin top. Isn't that right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Right as you said, frosting. I was backing out from the closet. <laughs> Seeing the frosting, but a different kind, no doubt. <laughs> I can't tell the color, but they rose. They rose almost up to the heating element. I hope it's not going to be overcooked, but I'm afraid to check it now. Should I check it now? Maybe I should. I don't know. It's, uh, God, I don't know. I really don't know. I need another toot. Hold on. But we've been going for like almost 45 minutes, and I, I really hate dragging these things out. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, it is cooking, right? Cooking takes time. They might rise to the top and get super baked. Yeah, they might. Go for it. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should. I don't know, man. I have a feeling maybe the top is done, but the inside maybe not, you know? I don't want them to be overdone where they're like dried out cupcakes, you know? Uh, <laughs> we're all laughing here. Oh man, I can laugh at myself all day long. All I have to do is look in a mirror sometimes. And there we go. I got a comedy show right there. Let's take a look at this frosting for a sec. 
But they don't give you any little pull thing. Oh, wait, there we go on this side. Okay. Bioengineered frosting. Boy, have times changed. Oh, man, nice strawberry, candy strawberry smell to it. That's what we're looking at. Who doesn't like to take a taste of frosting, right? I hope it's the buttercream kind and not, let's see. I don't even think it's buttercream because there's so much, wow, a lot of stuff in it. All right, let's just try it. Oh, yeah. That's real deal diabetes frosting right there. It's not the whipped kind, thankfully. All right, I think I'm going to check these, man, because I'm smelling them. I'm smelling them big time. And we're about a minute and a half out uh, from 15 minutes. Toothpicks. Okay, hold on. Let me get a toothpick. All right. Let's check it out. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. So they're almost done. I could just tell. There's very little on this toothpick. You see that? You might even consider it to be done. Because I know when they cool off, it's going to like firm up a little bit, right? It's bio cream. You read my mind as I was thinking adding some peppers to a McRib. Right on. Good idea. I'm watching this on my phone with earbuds while I'm doing dishes. So take all the time you need. Right on. Mounting cakes. I know, dude. Those things like... Now that I know... Next time, I am not going to fill them nearly as high. Totally. Uh, that bio cream tastes freaking good, though, man. I can, like. Let, let's go over the ingredient. Actually, I'm going to stop this. We're going to open the door. Sugar is the first ingredient. Then palm oil, water, corn syrup, cornstarch, canola oil. Contains 2% two, 2 or less of salt, mono, diglycerides, artificial flavor, including red, red number 40. You got to love that. I think that was the stuff that was in bubble yum a long time ago when they pulled it. I don't know. Artificial flavor, polysorbate, 60, modified cornstarch, potassium sorbate, soy lectin, Citric acid, sodium citrate, xanthan gum. You got to love the xanthan gum. That's, I believe, a thickening thing. Antioxidants, which include, I can't even pronounce this, asorbyl palminate, mixed tosopherols, <laughs> chamomile, and rosemary extracts. Contains soybean ingredients. That's what it says. Throw in some, throw some tink in that small bowl. You never know. Wish all cupcakes were like that. You get more. No doubt, right? Probably has uh, soil and green also. <laughs> oh, man. You need to let them cool before adding the frost. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. I know. Uh, shake it up with Chantel cooking. How you doing? What's going on? Um, so yeah, I'm cooking some cupcakes. I'm going to do it from cake batter this time. I already got them already cooked. In fact, I'm going to remove it from the oven to let it cool off. Wow, these are definitely mountain cakes. I should have taken them out a little earlier, but they're not bad. But they are huge. Like this one especially is super huge. That's the one I filled up the most. And then I started lessening it. But um, got to let them cool. What does the box say? How long? Cool, 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so we're going to set a kitchen timer ah, for 10 minutes. Ah, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> keeps doing it. Kitchen timer. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. 10 minutes. All right, there we go. <laughs> Having fun over here, right? All right, let's close the door to the Cuisinart TOA60. This is my first time ever cooking cupcakes in this oven, so... I really don't know what to expect. One of, the, one of them looks a little lopsided. Two of them do. Uh, the other, this one is coming out perfect, like totally perfect. Uh, the colors didn't change that much. No, not at all. Beep, beep. That was insane. 
Looks delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, as soon as these cool off, I am going to apply this uh, bioengineered frosting that Pillsbury comes out with. But um, so let me just explain. Two of the cupcakes are regular. Then the one after that has a tablespoon of Carolina Reaper powder. The one after that has two tablespoons of Carolina Reaper powder. Not into the cupcake, but into the mix, okay? So, um, and it is a little spicy. I tasted the mix before I put it in. It has a little bit of spice to it, I'm going to say. Let me just um, check this through and through with a toothpick here. Yeah, it looks good. It came out nice and dry. Try another one nice and dry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice and dry toothpick. They should be cooked through and through. <coughs> smells so good, though, man. I tell you what, it smells really, really good. Uh, microwave technical press. <laughs> Let's see. Closet your shot, my dude. <laughs> Closet your shot. I don't know what we're talking about now. We got all off track here, didn't we? But uh, thank you all for tuning in. We're going to let this cool. Then I'm going to apply the frosting. Then somehow we're going to pop these out of here. Um, I did use some canola spray, and I lightly powdered it with uh, flour. So hopefully they come out of there easily. Boy, this frosting is tasty, though. I'll tell you that right now. Um. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of McRibs after the show. Right on, man. I love them McRibs. Seriously. Since they've been out last week, I've already had two of them. But the third one that I'm going to get, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the next day, but I'm going to put a bunch of super hot peppers on there and see if we can ramp it up a little bit, right? Because you all know me. I love super spicy hot stuff. And now that uh, Denny sent me some peppers, I just can't wait to try it out. Oh, yeah. Also... Okay, I want to give a big thanks and shout out to uh, Mark Dettinger, I believe his name is. He um, ordered and sent me two bottles of this original birdbath peach mango habanero from Texas pepper jelly. This stuff right here. I don't like mango. And he didn't know. And um, it is what it is. So what I'm going to do, since I got two bottles, not right now, but... I'm going to give them away to you guys, you know. We're going to do a second giveaway on my channel ever. And um, I'm going to send two people. I guess it's a birdbath for, like, uh, beef or poultry. I think you can use it for either. It's very uh, liquidy, I will say. It's not like a thick consistency. But um, maybe someone will find some good use for it, you know. The McRib rules, for sure. I want cupcakes now. Well, come on down. <laughs> You're welcome to enjoy some cupcakes with me. I mean, it felt like 20 seconds of intense microwave programming there was getting to my head. <laughs> oh, yeah, the sound, I could imagine. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you guys are funny. Sarah, what's going on? Um, you missed all the fun stuff. I made cupcakes. I'm letting them cool down right now for about 10 minutes. But um, here they are right here, and uh, two of them are regular. And after that, I put a tablespoon of Carolina Reaper powder in the cupcake mix. Then I poured a uh, third one. Then I put another tablespoon of Carolina Reaper powder, and I made the fourth one. So I got a range here from not spicy at all to a little bit spicy to maybe hopefully super spicy. Y'all know how I do it, right? Um. Those look amazing. Yeah, I sure hope so. They are definitely mountain cakes. Going to be lit. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic, Sarah. How are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um, if I touch them. Yeah, they feel pretty firm on top. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait the time. According to the timer, I still got five minutes left. My first time ever baking any kind of cake-related items. The closest thing that I've ever only baked is I made my own pizza dough a bunch of times way back in the day. And um, I'd love to do that again, but I definitely need a mixer for that. I'm pretty sure. Um, these, I didn't have a mixer. I used a whisk, but it definitely came out right. I mean, the consistency looked good, you know. Snow-capped cakes, if it had the white frosting. Yeah, no doubt. I still not tried those death nuts. What is wrong with you? You're a scaredy cat. Just remember, 
okay? Nothing with heat, with spice, with peppers could kill you. Nothing. It's impossible. Um, capsaicin is really good for the body. I guarantee you those death nuts, they're not too brutal. I already went through them. Um, they it might be uncomfortable for a little bit, but it can't hurt you. You'll be fine. As long as you don't have any stomach ulcers, there's nothing wrong with eating peppers. Anyone with ulcers should stay away from peppers. Otherwise, you're good to go. Seriously. Why would your guts hate you? Hmm. You're the man. Hey, Shane, what's going on? Taking a boop. What's going on? Munchies with Andy. Yes, sir. You're awesome. Thanks for the show, brother. It's been great as always. Thank you. I cried. LMAO. <laughs> I got to try the death nuts by myself, okay? So I did buy them a long time ago, and I this is at like the very beginning of my spice journey. Um, I shared them with my buddy, Rudy, at work, and I'm like, they didn't seem all that hot to me. I mean, it seemed hot, okay? Don't get me wrong. But I think now that I've like sampled some super hot peppers and tincture, they're probably going to seem a little bit mild to me. I have a feeling. Won't know for sure, though. Uh-oh. Why did my screen get dark like as if the power is going to go out? Hold on. Maybe it's just my camera. Okay, let me make sure it's still showing it's plugged in. I'm using my laptop to broadcast. And um, give me one second here. Yeah, it's still plugged in. Okay, good, good, good. Sounds brutal. <laughs> Those are cap cramps. Yeah. Spicy stuff tears my guts up. Yeah, you might get capsaicin cramps. Um, the best thing I'm going to tell you right now, Sarah, when you're eating anything spicy, make sure to chew it up very well. Okay, just because it may be like burning your mouth a little bit, keep chewing. Because if you swallow that stuff without chewing it up properly, that's when you're going to get the cramps. Guaranteed on that. Am I right, guys? Come on, I have some fellow uh, pepperheads in here. You'll, you'll vouch for me on that. The gut bomb, rolling blackouts in Cali again. That's what I've heard. Um, one of my friends, Adrian, uh, she lives way south of here. She has uh, Southern California Edison. She told me a couple times they had blackouts and she lost like a bunch of stuff in her freezer and stuff. Really sucks. I haven't had any blackouts here. <laughs> Fingers crossed on that one. I don't think I'm on SoCal Edison, though. I'm not sure. Because uh, I don't pay for electricity here. It's it's uh, kind of included with the rent of my little small one-bedroom house. Um, Andy, where do you get your fresh pepper pods from? Uh, well, these ones I had sent by my friend Denny. Um, usually, I was getting them at the supermarket. I shop at Stater Brothers. Um, pepper pod season's over, so you're probably not going to see any for a while. But... Um, Stater Brothers was carrying, um, they always carry habaneros. They still have some of those. But the Super Hots, uh, they had scorpion peppers. They had ghost peppers. They had Carolina Reapers. And they were five bucks a basket. I'll, let's see if I have part of a basket left. Oh, my God. I still do. Jeez. I have a bunch of ghost peppers left. I didn't even realize. But uh, $5 for a basket like this at Stater Brothers Markets. And these ones come from the Netherlands. I don't know if these are still good anymore, but um, yeah, that's what I got. Ghost peppers. I'm going to have to check them out sometime soon. But y'all know me. I love the super hot. So let's see how much time we got. We got 29 seconds, and then I can start frosting these things up. You feel these? Yeah. They don't feel like they're going to like fall or anything like that. At your gro yes, sir. At my grocery store, they actually got fresh pepper pods. Not right now, though. They do have habaneros still. They do have a lot of habaneros. but um, And those are just in a bin. You know, you can buy them by one, two, three. But those ones in the crate, they came from the Netherlands, and they're all gone. Uh, they cleared them out. There's no more left. So there we go. Ten-minute timer is up. Got 18 people on right now. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. In case you don't know me, I'm KJ Andio. Give me one sec. All right. Pan does not feel hot. How do you frosting a cupcake? Like, I've never done this before, legit. Seriously, guys. 
I mean, I know like there's people use like a frosting knife or something. Um, but I don't even have any knives that are clean. They're in the they're in the sink right now. I think I'll use the back side of a spoon. That should work, right? Should I pop the cupcakes out before I frost them or should I frost them in the pan? That's the next question. About to have dinner, brother. I'll catch you later. Oh, thanks for tuning in right on, James. Frost it up. I had to switch to my tablet. Got to make some food. I'm starving. Yeah, for sure. Just scoop it. So should I do it? I'm going to see. First of all, let's see if these cupcakes come out. I'm going to put them on uh, paper towels. I don't want to put them directly on my kitchen counter. That would seem kind of gross, huh? All right, let's move this aside. I don't know how these come out. Do they come out? Oh, yeah, they come right out. I think I used a little bit too much flour, but it'll just brush off. But, yeah, there's one of them right there. It came out, like, nice and clean. See, there's the flour I'm talking about. Not a big deal. Next time I'll use less. That's a strawberry one. And here's the second strawberry one. This one doesn't have as much flour, but they look legit. They look really legit. And then I got to keep the spicy ones separate because um, I got to not lose track of them. Let's see. Uh, frost mine after I get them out so you don't get frosting all over you. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, they don't stick. They're definitely not sticky and they feel, they feel like they're uh, pretty soft still. They don't feel like they're rock hard or anything. So I don't think I overcooked them. So let's go ahead and frosting them up. Let me show you how ridiculous it looks to frost them up with the backside of a spoon, huh? Since I don't have the proper gear, let's just try this, right? Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a little harder than I thought. But I'm going to get it. Don't worry. Don't dismay. KJ Andio is on the way. All right. And I got to take a picture of these, man, for social media. I forgot to do that. These are going to be yummy, though. I could just totally tell already. Looks legit. Hold on a sec. It's my phone. Phone. Uh, where is the phone? All right. Okay, Google, current weather forecast. I think it's in my bedroom. Yeah. Just goes to show you how sensitive a phone's microphone is. It's way in my bedroom, nearer to like my nightstand. And sure enough, it pulled up the weather forecast. Would you believe? Wow. They really are spying on us, aren't they? Okay. Let's go ahead and take a picture of this real quick. Looks like my camera app got updated. Hold on. Oh, wow. I just, I just got frosting on the phone. Hold on. That frosting is yummy, though. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I got to turn off my timer. I had that on for other purposes. Okay. Turn off the flash. Come on now. All right, hold on. Oh, my little flash thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. So there's one of the Reaper cakes. You get that one before the frosting. There we go. Ice cream. Spooning the cakes. I use a spoon even at the cafe when I have proper equipment. Right on. Um, but, yeah, I think this really uh, came out okay. I mean, for the first time ever making cupcakes, right? I don't know. Looks good to me. Man, that strawberry icing. Wow, that is good. Ridiculous good. Okay, let's go ahead and frost the other ones here. All 
I definitely know next time not to put as much batter in there because um, some of these got kind of like out of control. But nonetheless, sometimes it's not always how it looks. It's how it tastes, right? Okay, second one done. Now the third and the fourth. Okay, so these are going to be tricky. This one's got a tablespoon of Reaper. This one, two tablespoons of Reaper. You know, I think I'm going to frost those. Um, no, maybe not. Maybe not right in there. Hold on. Let me um, get another paper towel. And I uh, put it aside. Okay. And we'll do Reaper cake number one. Yeah, they came off a little bit of the lopsided. I, I think it could be maybe the oven isn't exactly level or maybe I should have leveled it off first. Nonetheless, it's okay. First time, a little trial run, right? All right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's Reaper Cake 1. Reaper Cake 2, I'll put closest to my microwave. How about that? Okay. I wonder if anyone's done this before, if I'm the first one to use uh, Carolina Reaper Powder in the mix to make cupcakes. Really good to know if uh, anyone knows the answer to that. You know, it's great to make a sweet heat type of thing. There we go. Two of them are frosted. So that's the major Reaper one. That's the minor Reaper one. There we go. And then you got the spoon. Oh, that's so good. Welcome back, everybody. You look awesome, brother. Right on. Thanks, Dan. Bio cream, yeah. What does old Agnes store use? Um, in their brownies? Okay, so I have one more of their brownies that I got to review. And I believe they use Reapers. Let's see. It doesn't say, but I believe... Yeah, it does. It says contains reaper pepper. So I got the orange one to review still. And this one is the chili head reserve triple skull. So I'm going to try to review that real soon. I uh, used cayenne and chocolate cake before. Cayenne. That doesn't have any heat. <laughs> uh, reaper major, reaper minor, right? And like constellation. Let's go ahead and try one of these suckers, right? I'm down. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Hmm. <laughs> wow. What a mess. <laughs> okay, so they taste good. I think what needs to happen, though, I need to stick these in the fridge for a while. I think the uh, frosting will harden up a little bit. And I think it'll be even better. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to end the show right now. I want to thank you each and every one of you for tuning in to my live cupcake cooking experiment. Uh, the Reaper ones I'm going to try after, but uh, they came out good. I'm pretty satisfied. Just a little bit less mix next time, and it's going to be fantastic. There's a Reaper. No, that was not a Reaper. That was uh, just a plain strawberry one. But check out the inside. Show you what I'm working with. Look at that. I think they came out pretty fantastic, if I might say so myself. Thanks, Bradley. Custom Closet Grow. So pink and moist. Damn it, Shatner. <laughs> Just killing it. All right, guys. Seriously, on a serious note, thank you all for tuning in. Anyone that comes across this video later, just know this was a trial run. Um came out really good for the first time. Definitely going to try it again. But um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What do you got to lose? Got a lot more stuff in the works, guys. So thank each and every one of you. Have a stellar day. Be excellent. 
And most of all, remember me, I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Take care, folks, and I will see you next time. Laters.